hey guys and welcome back to Epic Kirby. Today I'm going to be doing a Harry Potter quiz. I kind of just got into Harry Potter and so I'm trying to test my knowledge on it and then in the future I can take like either the same quiz or a different quiz just to kind of see like how much I've learned and stuff like that. What is the very first line of the film? Well, perfectly normal, thank you very much. Somebody's left something at the door, dear. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? I should have known that you would be here. I'm gonna go with good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Oh, we're perfectly normal, thank you very much. In the following famous Snape line, where does actor Alan Rickman place a very long pause? He does a lot of pauses. People will think you're up to something. 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 I'm gonna go with the first one. Ah, <sighs> eh, first one I got right. <laughs> In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what color is the sock that Dobby gets at the end? It's gray. Yeah. Um, in the Chamber of Secrets book, Mrs. Weasley magically fixes Harry's broken glasses. Who repairs them in Diagon Alley in the film? Um, Hermione? Yeah. She does it twice. <laughs> what is Gilderoy Lockhart doing in the large portrait of himself in Chamber of Secrets? Painting a portrait of himself. Catching a golden snitch, playing the bagpipes, riding a dragon. I'm doing painting a portrait of himself. Yeah. See, now I'm actually getting things right. What is the spell Harry is attempting under the bed clothes in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban's opening scene? Bed clothes? Is that like a British thing? Because I don't know what that means. Oh, under the, right, under the sheet. That's Lumos Maxima. And he only says it like 10 times. Um, in Prisoner of Azkaban, which lead singer of which rock band has a cameo in the Leaky Cauldron as a wizard magically stirring his tea? I know this scene and I know the guy. I didn't know he was from a band. I don't know, I don't know who this is. There's Bobby Gillespie of Primal Scream, Ian Brown of the Stone Roses, Sean Ryder of the Happy Mondays and Jarvis Cocker of Pulp. Um, um, I guess I'll just do the last one. I don't know. Oh, Ian Brown of the Stone Roses. I knew I should have clicked that one. I just didn't like the name. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, what does Cedric Diggory do the first time we see him in the film? Materialize in midair, jump from a tree, sparkle in the sunlight, <laughs> uh, jump from his broom, jump from a tree. Yeah. Barty Crouch Jr., played by Tay the Tent, or the Tenth Doctor, is notable for what facial tick? I do it all the time. <laughs> Sticking his tongue out. I seriously do it a lot. <laughs> well, I used to do it a lot more in high school. I don't do it as much now, but I still do it. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, what color is Tonks' hair when he, we first see her in the film? Pink, red, purple, blue. Purple? I don't know. I'm going my favorite color. <laughs> I knew I liked her. The fifth film introduced us to Bellatrix the Strange, but who plays her? Oh, I don't know. Maybe 
Helena Bonham Carter. Duh. Uh, which London Bridge is destroyed at the beginning of Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince? Ooh. I don't live in London. I don't know. This is Westminster Bridge, Black Friars Bridge, Millennium Bridge, and London Bridge. I want to say Westminster Bridge. Oh, Millennium Bridge. I don't know. Uh, what relation is Hero Fiend Tiffin? who plays the 11 year old Tom Riddle to Ralph Fiennes, who plays Voldemort. I didn't even know they were related. Okay. His nephew, his grandson, his son, no relation at all. Their names are just coincidence. Oh. I'm going to say his nephew. Yay! Ah, I didn't know that they were related. So cool. Um, select all that apply. Which of the following does a slughorn mistakenly call Ron Riesler, Ron Riesler during the course of the film? Oh, Wellsby, Westerly, Willoughby, Wen Wenby, Wallenby. So I have to select all that apply. I want to say Wellsby. I mean, like, how many? It doesn't say how many. Um. I'm going to say Willoughby, and then let's do Wenby. Let's do that. Submit. I got one right. It was Wenby and Wallenby. Okay. I didn't even know that he called them wrong names. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, what Nick Cave song do Harry and Hermione dance to in the tent? Oh, children, into my arms, we know who you are. Jubilee Street. I say, oh, children, because I remember that in the song. Yeah. <laughs> on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, there are a lot of questions in this movie, apparently. Who narrates the tale of the three brothers? Emma Watson, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, or, I can't pronounce his name. Rise if Franz. But it's Emma Watson. Or Hermione. Um. <laughs> In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, what color dress is Albus and Aberforth, Dumbledore's sister Ariana, wearing in her portrait? Red, green, yellow, blue. Blue. Hey! I feel like I'm guessing most of the ones I get right. Who does Neville say that he's mad for at the height of the Battle of Hogwarts? Oh! It's Luna Lovegood, my favorite character. <laughs> I don't even have to check if that's right. I know it's right. What is the final line of the final film? Okay, really, sure, ready. I wanna. Mm. Wait, final line of the final film. So. Hmm. I wanna say ready. See, I'm guessing most of these. How am I supposed to know how much better I got? Result Cinna Magic. You love the Harry Potter films so much, you probably would buy a pair of omnoculars to watch them again and again but there's still a tiny bit more studying to do for full marks yes i know i need more studying <laughs> especially if i wanted to not guess on most of them because i'm pretty sure i did guess on most of them pretty sure i did i did <laughs> anyways that's it for this video let me know what score you guys got below you can make fun of me or tell me how amazing I am in the comments also. I don't care. Um, remember to follow your dreams and I love you guys. Bye.